All right, and welcome. So we are doing weapon or WPWN on offense security proving grounds. Um, I already started up an MMAP scan. I already started the box. Started up an MMAP scan. Started up a uh, directory search, Durbuster, because it looks like we have port 22 and port 80 up. So I was about to start up a rust scan. See if we got anything with that. Port 22, port 80 still. Alright. So it doesn't look like we're getting much else here. So we do have a... Uh, so that looks pretty good so far. Okay. Uh, we could always go to trygorobot.txt like, real quick. See what we got there. Let's go ahead and uh, look at this. Have fun. Okay. Uh, let's try to do a robot. That text says to go secret, but it says, ah, just kidding. Look at the real stuff. If we go secret, we find nothing. Alright, so that's nothing over there. So we're going to level up this dirt search, uh, go ahead and do its thing, because we are getting nowhere up here so far. Uh, let's try to do an MMAP port 80. And we'll also run an MMAP on port 22. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw a Nikto scan also on 480. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. Okay. So so far we're getting nothing yet. Uh, it doesn't look like SSH is vulnerable to any type of attack with that version number. Um, still waiting on port 80 to come back. And we're still seeing if there's anything else in here that uh, might be able to, you know, use for an attack or anything like that. A uh, way in or something. Index HTML it brings you straight back to the original page you were already at. So that's not going to work for us. So... Oh, yellow. Take it a minute, huh? There's our robot.txt that we saw a minute ago. But we realized that went nowhere. So that's not a big deal to us. You want to open up this guy? All right. Uh, still nothing yet, huh? Alright, for port. So, port 80 is showing a couple, I mean, it's not showing us anything. We're getting the, uh, this like right here, that's about it. So, not getting too much over there. I'm surprised they didn't show us the robots.txt for this guy, though. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't see that. Port 80. We do have a WordPress, okay? Go ahead and go to this WordPress. And let's go log in. And yep, alright, cool. So if you've been watching my other videos, you know that we just did Billy Joel, we just did K Wheel. Those are the ones that we already used. So let's try to do a WP scan. And we'll do 123.123 .123 as the IP address. Enumerate users. Enumerate you. That's going to be to enumerate users, guys. Go ahead and do that, like, real quick. Um, we can also try to enumerate users manually, like admin, admin, admin's usually in there. So, yep, the password you enter for, you, you enter for the username, admin is incorrect. So, we know that admin does exist. Uh, let's see if anyone else exists in there. So, we have user identified admin, and we have nobody else, it looks like. So, just admin. Uh, we also have version, let's see here. So, we're using 2020 WordPress theme. Okay. WordPress version is 5.5. says so that's insecure. So we go ahead and look into that also. Um, so we can try to find something with that maybe. So let's go ahead and look at uh, plugins. You always want to enumerate plugins also. It could be AP. And then from there we'll try to also uh, crack it too. So let's go ahead and uh, stop this micro scan up here. We, I think we figured out enough about it. So WP scan. We'll try to uh, crack it. Attack view. We'll say admin. 
capital P will say user share word list rocky.txt and let this guy go ahead and try to crack that password. Um, I've showed a couple different ways to crack passwords and whenever we see plugins we always want to look at that plugin. So Social Warfare says that on date. It says this version is 3.5.2 so we can always do search exploit for Social Warfare but usually with plugins do like social warfare like that okay but usually with plugins you do want to go out to the internet all right so we're going to do like a search or we're going to look up social warfare warfare uh 3.5.2 okay and we do see a couple of different things here and we literally have something on exploit db and another one on wp scan so let's go ahead and look at the wp scan so let's see here, we got a great payload file on this host location. This looks like it's going to be some type of, yep, let's say remote core execution or like an RFI kind of thing, remote file inclusion, something like that. So let's go ahead and grab this and it says to visit this website, WP admin, admin post, blah, blah, blah. All right. And we're going to save ours as payload.txt. So it says to go there. Let's go ahead and create a payload.txt then. All right. Um, I already have one. All right, so we're going to delete all that. Go X, yes. And so that's called payload.txt. If I cat it, we have inside there exactly what was written on this guy right here. Now it says to visit the website, WP admin, blah, 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 boom, 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 boom. HTTP, attacker, host, and payload.txt. So let's go ahead and visit that exact site. I don't know if we're going to need this WordPress then WP admin. I think that we would because ours is not just straight up just WP admin so I think it would be like that. And let's go ahead and grab our IF config. Grab our IP address right. And it says nothing found. Okay. You want to know why? Probably because we have to start up a Python server. So we have Python Attack M, simple HTTP. Now you see that my server is port 8888, right? It's trying to go back to a URL address, right? So let's go ahead and do 8888 there, because that's what port I'm running out for my server. We'll hit enter. Well, you gotta do it over here. On the wise there, like right there, 8888. Enter, and now we get something. Okay, cool. So we have a user Takis, T-A-K-I-S. Everyone else seems pretty normal of a user but Takis is not so I'm going to go with our user is Takis T-A-K-I-S uh, now we just need to try to figure out this dude's uh, password like right here uh, so we could try to you know cat Takis we could try to do different stuff in here um, let's go ahead and ls tack la slash home slash Takis make sure this guy actually exists if we're even allowed to look there, I don't know. And we'll go back in and we'll do that again. Alright, and it looks like we are allowed to look there. Let's see if he has a... He does not have anything with dot .sh. He does have a user.txt though. We can try to cat that. Let's see if we can cat user.txt. Text. Okay, and we'll try to run that payload, see what we get. Your flag is in our file. It is, actually, because it should be in local.txt for this one. So, what I'm wondering now is, can we get to, like, slash root? Can we do an ls tag la slash root? Do we even need to even get in this box at all? Let's try to do an ls. Going back into here. Because if I, if I don't have to do, even get in the box... And there's no point in. Okay, no change. All right, so I do have to get in. All right. Um. So WordPress, the config.php file for WordPress will sometimes give out passwords or have like passwords in there. So let's try to find that. So that should be in var www.html. Right. 
um, WordPress because that was what we found right here, right, slash WordPress. And we know that we're in var www.html. At least that's the normal place for something to be. So now I stack LA there. All right. And if we don't see anything in there, then we can always do, you know, like reload the whole page and then do like a PWD. And we do see something. Okay, cool. So our normal spot for stuff is var www.html, right? I know it's a WordPress because we know that's another directory, so that means we have another folder for that. Okay. Um, now we want to look at the wp-config.php. Okay, uh, log might be another one, load might be another one, but I'm going to look at this config page. Now this guy again, and we'll just do a slash wp-config.php, right? And instead of ls-la, we'll do a cat for him. And we'll run this command and see if we get anything. Remember, we do have a username, Tacus, right? So, cool, my SQL saying you can get this info from your web host, name, define database name, WordPress, database, MySQL database username, define DB user, WordPress user. So, WordPress user, then we have a password, database password, host is local host. Huh. So we do have a password now. So now, the only user that we know of is Takis, T-A-K-I-S. WP user did not exist. And there's no SQL server. So the only thing I can think of is that this is like the dump of that database user. Is WP user the dump of database password was this though? So that's the only thing I can think of like right there. So let's go ahead and grab that. We only have one user on this box. Let's try SSH Tacus at 192.168.123 on 123, right? That's the IP address that I'm going after. Uh, this guy's still trying to do stuff. All right, hey, you, you can stop now. You can stop. And we did get in. Cool. All right, awesome. Um, now we do have his password, so we just run sudo tag L. And we can run everything. So, can we sudo su? Yep, okay, I was about to say, if we can run everything, we can just go sudo su. Alright, so we are root now, so go on cd slash root, ls stack la, we can cat that proof.txt, awesome. And then, we'll, then we'll cd into var, or actually, let's look it up, uh, cat scripts, find user text, okay, so we're going to take this guy. Now, it is not called user.txt for him, right? It's called group.txt, right? So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And we'll look at local, or excuse me, local.txt, right? And it's in var www.html. So if I cd into var www, we can cat that local.txt. And there's our other one. All right, awesome. So that is how to do... Um, was it WPWN weapon? Oh, this guy's still going. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, robots.txt. There wasn't really any thing that was uh, trying to throw it for like a loop or anything like that. Biggest thing was just to know how to use your WP scans, know how to enumerate with WP scan, and understand you know how to find something on the internet and actually utilize that for what you need to use it for, um, and look at those exploits and be able to run those exploits. So, I hope you guys learned something on this one. Uh, super quick, super easy. Shouldn't have uh, had too many problems. If you had anything, uh, leave some in the comments, and that's about it. All right, have a good one.